and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a water text effect in Adobe Photoshop. At first we've got a white background and I use the type tool to type in some random words. In this case I use water and I press ctrl D, hold alt and size it up. Then I press ctrl A and I align it to the center. Ctrl D to deselect it, let me size it down a little bit. Once again ctrl T and then I hold alt, size it down. In the font you can use whatever you want. Let me use, I guess I use Fotora for this example. And now we need an image of water. I found this on Unsplash. You can download it via the description below. I hold shift and rotate that and then I hold on when I resize it. You can see the white areas on the window right there. If you don't want to have that, search for a different image. I think it looks good, so I'll keep it. Make sure the image layer is selected. Go to image and duplicate. I'll rename that to duplicate rain. Make sure that duplicate merge layers only is checked and then click on OK. It will open in a new tab right here. Then go to image, mode and grayscale. Discard it and we've turned it into black and white. And we are going to adjust it with levels to increase the contrast. You can really go to the extreme here. Something like this should be fine. So now black and white, I have a very high contrast. I'll go to file and save as. Now we go back to our original and we create a clipping mask for the image. Then we'll go to the text layer, right click and convert it to smart object. Now we'll apply the filter, go to distort and displace the horizontal and vertical scale it's a bit of guesswork, but make sure you've got wrap around and stretch to fit selected. Then OK and select our duplicate we've created. And you can see that wasn't the right value. Let me try something else. I'll increase it for the vertical scale and a little bit for the horizontal as well. And now it looks way better. Depends on the word that you're using, the image that you use and the size. So adjust the values for yourself. And once again, we use a filter liquify forward warp tool and we'll adjust it slightly. Obviously make sure that you've got the text layer selected when you do that. When you've found something that you like, just click on OK. And this is the final effect. You can change the background to black if you like with the bucket tool. And if you get rid of the clipping mask, so make it invisible, you will see your text in black and white with the same effect. And this is how you can create these water text effects in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.